Hi guys, it's Ray. We are going to do a new tumbler today. We're going to work on this 30 ounce skinny straight that I just painted the bottom and the top rim black. We're going to use the green glow vinyl from Tech Wrap Crafts. This was from the Halloween bundle and we're going to use this temp or yeah, temporary tattoo. So, the first thing I'm going to do is wrap the tumbler with the vinyl to use as my base layer. Scoop that out of the way a minute. Grab my paper trimmer. And I'm going to cut this to a A little over nine length. So I may have to recut this because I did slice it a little bit. No, we're still good. So I'm going to want to start it just wants to roll. But I'm going to start on First, I'm going to remove the protective film. There we go. That's that film I don't need. And I want to start with this edge. That's my working edge. Okay. So I'm going to peel up a little bit of the backer and trim that down. This is very thin vinyl, very pliable. And I just got glitter on it. It's all good. I'm going to put my anchor piece back in place for now. dry fit it to the tumbler. Pretty close. Peel my backer up. And I'm going to go ahead and set my anchor. And 
just like any other vinyl wrap, I'm going to get the backing paper started. Use my big squeegee and push it down. And I'm going to watch for bubbles as I go. But usually with this method, it goes on pretty bubble free. Not bad. <clears throat> so now we have a green glow tumbler. I'm actually going to keep the seam to the side for this one because this is going to get caught into two separate sections. I haven't done one of these ones in a little bit, so I think it goes like in here. I'll cut. These full sleeve tattoos you can find on Amazon. I will try to remember to link them down below. Keep your protective coating on until you're ready. You don't need a ton of water. You're not soaking this like a... Um, water side you're just getting the backing damp so got some paper towels ready once your tattoo hits your surface it's gonna stick there so make sure your hands are dry all of that and whatever is over the top I can remove after it's applied. So, I got my seam kind of where I want it. They're like mildly sticky, so they do tend to stick on their own. And it should only take a couple seconds underwater, under a watered down paper towel to adhere. There's more over here, so I'm going to get another piece. Let it sit and soak a couple seconds. On skin, it takes about 10 seconds. It sometimes takes a tiny bit longer on a tumbler. but not long at all. And I like to see if it'll slide. Sometimes they will, sometimes they won't. But if it doesn't want to slide, just gently peel up the backer. Oh, and I did lose a little bit of it there. But I think it'll be okay because it's going to overlap. I like to wipe it with the wet cloth just a little bit to make sure it's smooth. Now, you can let it dry if you're not comfortable doing both sides at once. I don't mind doing both sides at once. Again, make sure your hands are dry. Your cup can be a little damp, but it doesn't need to be. So I do generally wipe it back off. And get your 
your second one in position. And this is going to overlap a little bit side to side just because of the sheer size of the tattoos. So I'm going to get my rags wet again. And give them a couple seconds to sit. So doesn't want to slide. Oh, zeros on the overlap, unfortunately. So I'm actually going to go ahead and let this piece that wants to come off, come off. I'm going to let the rest of the house stay there. Okay. Dry towel. I'm just going to blot it. This entire thing won't take long to dry because there's not really water under the tattoo. It's all over the tattoo. So, at this point, it's going to be personal preference what you want to do. Whether you want to leave the big parts of the green vinyl showing on their own. Or if you want to go over that with alcohol ink. Um, I think I'm going to ink over it with a dark gray or a black. So I'm going to let this sit a minute. And I'm going to pick out a color. Okay, so I did grab a little piece of the scrap vinyl, and I have the Let's Resin Gray. Just to make sure this is well shaken up. I can grab a different color if I need to, but I want to see how this will look. I grab my T-Rex black, space black. I think that let's, let's resin needs to be shaken up a tiny bit more. And this is just a little makeup wedge. I think if I mix these two, this will give me the kind of smoky night sky cloudy effect I want. And it'll be fine if I go over the base black paint as well. It's not going to hurt anything.
my goal is simply to blend the green vinyl into the tattoo a little bit more. So that is it. That is inked. I'm going to grab my um, nail lamp because it's plenty dark enough that we should be able to get a good look at how this is going to glow. Okay, so this is charged up. We should be able to see it now. Oh yeah, well, look at that. That's where the vinyl, or the tattoo overlaps a little bit, but it's not that big a deal. There's Jack. And Oogie and Lock, Shock, and Barrel. So, yeah, she's going to glow. Um, I'm going to let this dry for a little bit. Okay, this is all dry and ready to get coated. And then she'll be done, essentially. It'll get another clear coat or two over this, but really two, because this is its first layer. And I like to do three, but this is going to be a 25 ml coat. The other coats will probably be a little bit less and some people get confused when it comes to glow in the dark and UV protection in resin the UV protectant in the resin will not block the UV light from getting to the tumbler it will glow that's just a common Thing that people get confused on so I figured I'd mention it. The UV in the epoxy just um, helps protect the epoxy from yellowing. It has nothing to do with blocking any kind of UV light from coming into the tumbler. So that is going to be it. I'll let this spin a minute and then I'm going to go ahead and torch it quick and we will have a look at it. Just to show you that the UV won't block, I'm going to plug my nail lamp in one more time. Hopefully it'll reach over here. I'm not going to give it a huge charge this time. I'm just going to give it like 30 seconds or so. So, yeah. See? It still glows perfectly beautifully through the epoxy. No problem whatsoever. And I think this tumbler looks fabulous. Uh, hopefully you guys liked it too. That is going to be it for this one. See how nice it looks. And here comes Oogie Boogie. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one.